On Wednesdays, starting at 9 in the morning, rain or shine, you'll find Hilo artist, poet and playwright, and animal lover, Tomas Belsky, selling his prints, t-shirts, and impromptu portraits created in his unique and lyrical style on a corner of Mamo Street and Kamehameha Avenue at the Hilo Farmer's Market. In his 73 years, Tomas has traveled to marketplaces around the world, including Brazil, Mexico, Nicaragua, as well as California, sharing stories and artwork, and in his own words, always remaining a part of what he considers pop culture, the unsung heroes of our age. Like a modern day Mark Twain, Tomas's artwork is often witty and satirical, as are many of his stories. And many of his stories are about the rich history of Hilo, Hawaii, where he has lived since 1970. I've worked with some belly dancers here, a big gang. Big gang That's a lovely, lovely thing. That's a, that's a fun pastime. Sure is. I, had a, I wrote a play once where I had a, a whole troupe of belly dancers coming in in, in the middle of the play. You know? And it was, I'll tell you, it really made the, uh, made the cast very happy. It was mostly men, right? Yeah. <laughs> They were delighted. They said, oh, Belsky, anytime you want to do a play, man, let us know. On this Wednesday, I stopped by Tomas's booth as he was busy sketching portraits and bantering with people at the market to ask him about a story I'd heard rumors about. A story about a cat that Tomas drew and sells t-shirts and prints of at the market. This shirt has on it an image of a pussy cat named Romeo. Now, I put this cat on this shirt because Romeo saved my life. Back on Easter Sunday, 1995, there was a, a Mamo Theater, a large theater up this street, two blocks, built in 1922, and it was held together by termites. Uh, so I had a studio inside of this theater, and one day, this Easter Sunday, I was telling you about 1995, I was downstairs inside of this, this abandoned theater, which was very dark, totally black. And I was doing some repairs down there, and I reminded myself, oh, I forgot to feed the kittens. Now, the kittens were the uh, offspring of Romeo. He, he was the father of these kittens, because he was the rascal of the neighborhood. So I went upstairs in that instant to feed those little kittens, which were two weeks old and they had been abandoned by their mother cat. So I had been taking these cats into my studio and I was feeding them with a nipple in the bottle, milk, warm milk and carnation, all this stuff for a couple of days. And this morning I said, oh, I forgot to feed the kittens. And so I went up the steps to where my studio was and I got up there and in less than one minute, the building was shaking and there was this thunderous roar. And I opened this door, which leads to the lower part of the theater. And instead of seeing the utter blackness of the theater, I saw the sky and the top of the roof of the theater settling down in a cloud of dust and smoke and a roar. Needless to say, I was beside myself with shock because if I had stayed down there and not remembered these kittens, I would have been reduced to about 18 inches tall with these monstrous red, redwood beams laying across my person. So th from this, I have immortalized uh, Romeo, the pussycat, the helo cat, and people who own this print or this uh, t-shirt are guaranteed immortality. That's my promise to them. Okay, and cat lovers like this cat very much. And I had done this sketch of Romeo, oh, maybe six months before this encounter. Uh, because Romeo was a screecher at night and one day we ran into each other and I sat down, had a conversation with him and did this quick sketch of Romeo, colored up and so that's what, I, that's what we used for this, the Hilo Cats. And there's a story on several of these shirts, none quite so dramatic as this one I might add. 
Next time you're in Hilo on a Wednesday, stop by Tomas's booth at the Hilo Farmer's Market and watch this accomplished artist in action. Hear tales from his many years of travel, as well as his humorous and sometimes poignant opinions of current events. Maybe even immortalize yourself, as Tomas puts it, and have him create a portrait of you to hang in your home or to send to friends and family, documenting your journeys throughout Hawaii. Good to see you, man. All right. And Tomas, nice right? Tomas, Tomas. Right. Very Good nice to meet you. Give my best to Carl. We are. We are. Right. Keep well, man. Okay.